Inserting line breaks into a SharePoint 2007 survey can be done in three steps. One, by creating custom tags in your content. Two, by adding a content web part that will then be populated with JavaScript that will actually insert the tags. This is a sample survey we'll use for the demo. It has a description of three paragraphs as well as a single question with two paragraphs. Look at the content, the description actually has the line breaks in there and it shows up as such on the uh, summary page but when you go to the actual launch page or the overview page, the first page that the respondent will see, then uh, the line breaks are not there which is kind of annoying and uh, the question line breaks don't even show up on the uh, summary page. The first thing we're going to do is insert our custom tags and I recommend that you keep these as simple as possible. Not use any special characters because the results are unpredictable. So we now see the line breaks coming through in there. And we also insert it into the question and see it come through there. So obviously now when we go to the survey we will see those in there which is not what we want. Next step is to now add a web part to each of the pages and uh, there are two, the overview page and the actual survey questionnaire. To add a web part you're going to edit the page add a web part and the particular one we're looking for is under miscellaneous it's called the content editor web part I'm going to add that by default it's going to show up at the top however we want it to be on the bottom because we want the script that we're going to insert to run after all of this has been rendered already so we just move that up and then we edit the content editor web part by modifying it, selecting the source editor and putting in some JavaScript. This JavaScript is fairly straightforward. There's a little function that will go find elements that we ask it to find that matches a specific class name and then replaces the tags with something that we provided with and there are three kinds of elements and tags that we're going to look for some table cells as well as one div for certain classes in some cases we want to insert html line breaks in some cases we just want to replace the custom tag and uh, i'm happy to explain this in more detail if somebody has more questions but it should be fairly simple to figure out i'm just going to save this and the minute i do this i can already see the line breaks coming down. I can then exit edit mode and I can see that now I have a line breaks as I expect. When I start the survey I still see the line break in here. The reason for that being that I also need to edit this page. Now this page is a little more tricky. For some reason it doesn't allow you to edit it probably because it's generated dynamically. So I need to do a little tap times to actually get to editing this page. And this little tap times actually involves modifying your uh, URL. I'll scroll all the way to the front and then find the part that says new form for ASPX. You want to replace that with a single argument called tool pane view equals two and that will put you into an edit mode and then you can follow the same process you can select that web part content editor web part add it remember to move it to the bottom to edit edit it
put in the same script exactly the same script and uh, we're done so now if I respond to the survey I get the line break in there and I'm good you may have to play around with uh, the script a little bit depending on uh, the version of SharePoint you're using or maybe browser issues but uh, in general that sh should help you uh, resolve some of the problems with inserting line breaks.